very faint band of light tonight. Well, that's just a hundred billion stars all seen together, edge on, as in this picture. If you could get out of the Milky Way galaxy and look down on it, it would look like that picture. And if we did look down on the Milky Way galaxy, where would the sun and nearby stars be? Would it be in the center where things look important or at least well lit? No. We would be way out here in the suburbs, in the countryside of the galaxy, and not in any important place. All the stars you could see would be in a little, little place like that. And the Milky Way would be this band of light, a hundred billion stars all together. The fact that we live in the outskirts of the galaxy was discovered a um, long time ago, towards the end of the First World War, by a man named Harlow Shapley, who was mapping the position of these clusters of stars. See, every one of these is a bunch of maybe 10,000 stars all together. It's called a globular cluster. And you can see that they are centered around the middle, the center of the galaxy. People used to think that the sun was at the center of the galaxy, something important about our position. It turns out to be wrong. We live in the outskirts. The globular clusters are centered around the marvelous middle of the Milky Way galaxy. And then it turned out that this isn't the only galaxy. We live in this one, but there are many others.